if you press and hold on that image, this is where you're able to remix it. And here it is. So this is a claymation of me. I was able to give it all the prompts to create this game for me. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, I'm gonna give you a short introduction into Nano Banana, where you're able to use this inside of Gemini. It's right there where you can create an image and it's perfect when it comes down to words and lettering. Also, you can use this inside of your Google messages. Now what happens is that if you are to attach an image, if you press and hold on that image, this is where you're able to remix it. Now, if you take a look at these pictures, they probably look familiar. Now, this one was just that regular meme over there. I was able to add a surprise look to his face. I was able to put it in perfect. And I was also able to put in a text bubble and my own personal message. And same thing here. Now, this one, if you remember, this was just another little meme, a little image. And this is where I was able to go through and I made it Lego. And when you take a look at these, this picture, it looks really good when they change it into Lego. And again, I was able to create a little text bubble and put in my own little message. So you're able to use this inside of Google messaging as well as the Google Gemini application, which is why I'd like to cover it. So let's cover Google Messages first, because if you have a Samsung phone and you're using Google Messaging, you can do this right now. Then we will cover what you can do inside of the Gemini application, because I think it's a little bit more powerful. Now, let's say that you wanted to edit a photo. You can um, make it however customized you would like to. Just go inside of your conversation and you tap on your little insert of the image. And let's say that we just do this one right there. Now, you can see the option right there, Nano Banana. It's sitting there immediately. You don't have to do anything and you can just tap on Remix. Now, it'll give you a few options towards the bottom of what you're able to do. So if you want to, I can just like add a surprised look, which is something that, you know, I've done from before. So let's just say that we do this one and it's probably gonna throw in a surprise look maybe on the snowman just because it has a little smiley face. Now beforehand, if you remember, it was just a normal little smiley face right there on the snowman and let's see what it pops up with. And there you go, you can see it's right there. He has a like a surprised look. Let's say that we wanted to go through and maybe make another change. I can describe whatever changes I want right here, or you can still go down here and give it another little option. So let's say that we do dress in random costume. I have no idea what this is gonna do. It could throw a costume onto those 3D prints, or it could throw uh, a costume onto regular humans looking and dressing up like what we see. So it looks as if for this one, probably because it recognized this as a face, it didn't really recognize these ones as faces. It just put on a silly little costume and then you just hit on done and then now you can hit on send. So now let me show you what you can do with an image that you have already sent. So here is one that we have already sent and let's say I press and hold on it. There is the option right there to remix it. Again, you can just do whatever you would like. Now for this one, I'm gonna type in some type of a description and let's see what it does. So I just wrote, make this toy shiny and in a different pose. You tap on that little nano banana and let's see what it does. Again, you can do this with anything that you send. Uh, you can do this with your own images. You can do it of toys. You can do it with whatever. And the big thing with AI is that they have always gotten wrong uh, words and letters. That's how you're able to notice if something was you know, done with AI. So here we go. We have this image here. This one is now a little bit more shiny. Uh, and you can see it was a different pose because beforehand the hand was down and this way it actually pushed it up, which is again, really cool. Uh, so you can make it do a different pose, make it shiny, and then you can say, have it, uh, you know, have a text bubble saying something what else. So like there's so many different things you're able to do. Just go through and play around and you can do whatever. So you can transform it into a superhero, uh, make it 1970s groovy, make the setting a 90s sitcom, set a fun scene on the red carpet and so many things. So. It is really cool that now you have your nano banana built into your Google messages. So then this way, if you would like to customize any pictures or whatever, you can do that. Now let's go inside of Google Gemini and let me show you what you can do here. Now, when you open up Google Gemini, it's right there, that nano banana, it's that little banana image right there. Now on the top left-hand side, when you go through, this is like all of my stuff. Now, this one was one of those images where I turned that little meme into Lego, which again, I think is super cool. Down over here, this is where I had this go look at my YouTube channel and then create a new banner for me that would fit inside of the banner for YouTube. And it was able to put everything in perfect. The only thing I had to do was state different text down there. It said something else down here and I didn't really like it. 
And again, this is the power of the Nano Banana where it's able to, again, I gave it the prompt, look at Jimmy's promo on YouTube, take a look at his channel to create a brand new banner. It created one for me, it was in a different color. I said, I want it in the colors of black, red, and white, which is my theme of my channel. And then for the text, I wanted to say this, line, this, line, this, and it did it perfect. And then I made sure that it was in the correct resolution to be the perfect banner on top of YouTube. So if we take a look at my stuff right up over here, you can see everything. So I put in a couple of really cool images. I even made and tested out an AI version of my image or a thumbnail just to see you know, how well it would do. And then I also created one for a lock and I liked my, my other one better. You can see here, I had to test it out a little bit because the resolution wasn't in the perfect you know, zone. So I was able to finally get it done. And then this is my first one I ever did, which was have a banana flying in space and throw in the word nano behind it. And this is what it created. And then I'm able to save the picture. Now, if you're enjoying this video so far, or you have learned something new, please consider subscribing. It is free to do. Also like the video, leave a comment and share this video. It really does help push this video into a better algorithm. So this way it's able to help and benefit more people. And it also helps support my channel. And here's another really cool thing that I have created. So I'm probably gonna turn this one into an app if I'm able to. So I was able to create this really cool snake game. Uh, I added in the score and a high score that's able to keep the score as you keep on playing. I also have this like play and pause right up there, which wasn't there originally. This is where you initiate it. And then this is where you're able to play the game. So what's fun about this one is that it goes through like the walls. So as you get bigger and longer, uh, that's where it's going to be a little bit harder. And this thing is already pretty quick. I might add in where, you know, every single 10, you know, 10 points or 10 levels or whatever, maybe it would go, you know, maybe like 10% faster, or maybe it would change colors of, uh, the snake as well too. So this is just something that I was able to create. And this was using, uh, just regular Gemini. So this one wasn't that nano banana, uh, but it was just right there. I kind of just, you know, played around with it. I was seeing what I could do. And I'll tell you what, trying to play with this right now, looking at the TV right in front of me, this is a little bit harder. There we go. It's a little bit harder than if I was actually looking at my phone and holding onto it and playing with my thumbs. But this is where you can reboot it. It keeps the high score. I was able to give it all the prompts to create this game for me. And then I was able to give it prompts to help me put this onto the Google Play Store and then all the other uh, steps you'd have to do to actually get this thing turned into an actual game that I'd be able to put over onto the Play Store or wherever you would like to put it. So again, when it comes down to AI, when it comes down to the Nano Banana, when it comes down to just Google Gemini in general and you're giving it some prompts, it is super uh, powerful. Again, able and the ability to create this little game that I have right in front of me. Now, another one that I want to show you is right up here on the very top. So this one, I was able to change a photo into panorama. So this was the original image that I have, and it has to work based on what it is looking at. So again, this is using nano banana. And I said, turn this into a panorama. And it actually did a really good job because what you see here is exactly what is actually there. And what you see over here was actually true and is you know what is over there as well. The only thing it threw in was this little playground. So this is actually a lake. So this is where there would actually be water and you can see the beach right up over there, but it didn't really know and it didn't really have much to work on on this side of it. I mean, it was cut right here. You couldn't even see the rest of it. You know, that's the beach back there. And so when I asked it to turn this one into panorama, it did a very, very good job. People might think that this right here is a real true, you know, image, which again, this was done by Nano Banana. So let me show you how you can do this from scratch. So I showed you a lot of things of what I did. You just go inside of Gemini and you go right there, create image. This is Nano Banana. This is where you can uh, describe what you want to be done and made. Or you'd be able to hit this plus button and then you add in an image from your gallery for it to work off of. So here is an image of me and I'm gonna say, turn me into a claymation turn me into a claymation and do some crazy athletic things. I don't know. Let's just see what happens. So that's just a picture of me. And actually I used Samsung's editing feature. My son was actually right there, but I wanted to have it only focus on me for this image. So I was able to edit him out. My hand was actually on his back or kind of hiding behind his back. So it threw my arm in, uh, I guess it kind of looks a little natural, but that's exactly uh, what my arm and everything looked like. So I had to edit a photo of me first. I threw it sure. inside of here. Here's the image. <laughs> And here it is. So this is a claymation of me just doing some athletic things. And oh man, that actually looks really sick, dude. Look at that. 
Look at those forearms, man. And it's got my clothes and everything. And I'm just able to hit on save and then I'm able to upload this pretty much anywhere and everywhere I want to. So it was able to take my image, the background of it, what I was wearing, uh, my exact look and everything. And then it went from this image to this claymation, which I think is super amazing. So that is really everything that I wanted to share in today's video. It is a quick touch on Nano Banana. If you want me to dive deep and do more, I can. Uh, this right here, you're able to show its thinking. It's gonna show you everything it did to create this image. So if you wanna learn the prompts that it used, then you can learn it as well. And if you look on the very top left-hand side, this is all of the stuff that you have done. So this is all the things that I've played with when it comes down to Gemini or the Nano Banana. And then you have all of your images and everything that you have created. Uh, and yeah, you can even create a video too. So again, I'm not gonna go super deep on this one. Mostly wanted to touch base on the Nano Banana, which is right there because you can do it inside of Gemini as well as your Google Messages if you like to just have fun with some images that you would like to send. But that's everything I wanted to do in today's video. If you guys liked it, give this thing a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.